Hey everyone, this is Sarah with SewingPartsOnline.com and today we're gonna be talking about the tape stitching foot. What's really cool about this foot, which is separate from the binder foot, is that this one is adjustable. So I have this little you know, ruler thing right here and I can adjust it to fit the width of my binding tape. So say I wanted to put this on a quilt or something, I can make sure that this is nice and snug to fit whatever size I want. You know, I can go up to a half an inch. Um, you can turn cool ribbons like this and put them in as well. Um, you can also do, because it's adjustable, you can do the smaller double fold tape. So that's what's cool about this. It is for double fold tape, whereas the binder foot was just for single fold. You can also use it just to make um, straps or any just plain tape like this. It's really kind of cool and it definitely makes things go faster. So this is our tape stitching foot. Up here is our stitch adjuster. So you can, you'll unscrew this and it'll move back and forth. It's more to help you with needle position. Over here, this wheel is the width adjustment to fit how large or how small your tape is. And right here is where we're going to put the shank screw to attach it to our machine. So let's go ahead and take off what we have on. Move that out of the way. Put this little guy under here. Make it nice and snug with your screwdriver. And that is all there is to it. So before we install it and get ready to sew, I'm just gonna show you, you wanna really put your tape in before you get it on the shank, it's just easier. So I will slide it in right here, it's a big opening, it has these two little shelves, and you can just slide it in. This wheel over here adjusts how snug it's fit in there. So there's this little plastic thing, it's really clear, but if you move this wheel towards yourself, it moves in closer, so for a smaller, tape and then if it was a larger tape I would just wheel it out away from myself and it would get larger but this is a small one so we're gonna move it to ourself about there it just helps it feed better if it's snug now over here this screw is for needle position purposes so if I had a large um, a large tape in there I'd move this over more or yeah, it just depends where your needle is really. I'll show you more when it's on. But I'm gonna keep it right there because it is such a small tape. So let's go ahead and put it on. Okay, so now that we have our foot installed, our tape is already put in, we're ready to just put the fabric in with it. So you open up this little plastic jaw thingy which is the technical term, plastic jaw thingy, and shove it in there. And you do not really need to shove it back in there with it. The, as the tape is being sewn, it's gonna pull it there with it. As you can see, my needle is gonna be in the middle, but I don't really want it in the middle. I want it on the side. So that's where I'm gonna move this little um, stitch adjuster. I want it right on the edge, so I'm gonna move it out a little bit and tighten it. And now, we are ready to actually sew. Oh, fabric got caught. That's okay. All right, now we're ready to sew. And I, like I said, I wanted my stitch to be right on the edge. That's kind of how I like it. So I'm just gonna keep my eye on it and make sure it's going where I want it to go. Although I can move it over myself if I need to like this. Um, now the fabric, I'm holding it down here. I'm kind of encasing it like this just to help it feed better. Try to keep it nice and evenly. Now with, since this is, we're trying to show it like it's a quilt, it's a little bit harder, but if you have thinner fabric, it's definitely very easy to get through. Woo! <laughs> 
And you can also switch this over, of course, to a zigzag, if that's what you like. This opening really is wide enough, so if you wanted to do like some kind of decorative stitch, you could really do that, it'd be kind of cool looking. And there we go. Now we're gonna have to go around a corner and I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so when you're ready to go around the corner, what you wanna do is actually remove, the take the whole foot off so that you can pivot the fabric back into the binding. So what I did was I literally just kind of manipulated it, just, just took it and slid it right back in here and then I slid the binding back on. It's really, really simple. Um, you can see on the back how it's just kind of like this. So you can kind of tuck that in or hand sew that back in later. Um, so it's out, now it's in. And then you can put it back on. And tighten it up again and now just kind of put it under the pressure foot everything lined up like you did before and you are ready to start sewing again You see it coming out, just shove it back in there. This uh, plastic part is very flexible. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. I'm trying to can pop this out really easily. So when you're going around a corner, it kind of looks like a curved corner. If you wanted to get that crisp corner look, you're gonna just have to do it. You're gonna have to take it out and um, do it like you would normally do a corner. But for the rounded corner look, you can do this with the tape stitching foot. So something you can do quick and easily with this is just make drawstrings or straps. All you do is feed it through. Let it pull it. And the foot really does all the work. Let's see. The trick is to get it out of the plastic part. Okay, there we go. Drawstrings or straps. So that was the tape stitching foot. To purchase your tape stitching foot, visit us online at sewingpartsonline.com or on Facebook at Facebook slash sewingpartsonline.